Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Icarus. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it's awesome to have you along. Jumping right back in. I did a little bit of work in here uh, between sessions, a little bit. Uh, trying to get that XP up. I think what we got to level 15, if I remember right, we got to get to level 15 to get to the stone building mechanic. This wooden building mechanic, the repair is kind of a pain, but it. It actually keeps you at home, I think, and that's the idea is to keep you kind of close to home so you can be there to repair your uh, structure when there's the storms and just to kind of get your levels going and, and get your feet wet in the game. So I'm still kind of just in our area, which has actually been a pretty profitable area. Good morning, Avasar. I um, have been hunting the deer and the animals that are around the area and then just basically, well, I'll show you. Basically, we're inside now. Chopping up stone and wood. So we've got several stacks of stone here, a stack of wood here. We've got a stack of wood in here. Uh, I moved the bedroll over here. I'm curious to see if I'll be able to sleep the night away with the campfire being right here. Uh, we'll relight this. This needs to fix up. That's weird, huh? Huh. Uh, yeah, this is all very weird. What's going on here? <laughs> Maybe I should back out and come back in again. That's very strange. Anything like that going on over here? Is that cleared up? Okay, maybe it was just loading in and it hadn't quite finished doing its thing before I just started moving around. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. I'm kind of hunting and gathering and that's about it at the moment uh, to get kind of the uh, levels we need. Um, and then again, we're going to text to see if we can sleep if the campfire is close enough to us. Today, I do want to expand this just a little bit more. We've got the structure here. I just need to put the walls around it and make it just a little bit bigger. And then we'll put the stone and stuff out here, I think, uh, in the meantime. I don't know that it takes damage, although it does seem to have a durability meter on it. So I'm going to guess that maybe storms do impact that. Good morning, Morris. Sit my coffee real quick. It's um, getting late in the day, I think. Maybe. I don't know, but I was going to go off and do some hunting, but I've got points that need to be taken care of here. Let's see, can I repair this? There we go, yeah. Been using the bow. Well, let's go ahead and close the doors while we're inside here. Uh, I did get some uh, O2. We need to grab a little bit of that as well, it looks like. And the food, I've got plenty of different foods to eat. Uh, thank you for letting me know it's the water that's giving me the dysentery on a regular basis. I have it right now, so you can see it's counting down, so it'll be almost gone. But you get a bump in your, you know, your food stat when you're under the influence of dysentery. Uh, we had some talents to spend. One point is available. And we have to decide what we want to do with that one point. Uh, what is this? Carry on reduced encumbrance penalty. Uh, dense packing. Weight capacity. I think I'm going to go weight capacity here. I really want to be able to carry as much as I can. So we're going to go with that one right there. Habitation, combat, I mean, look at all these different areas we could spend these points. So, yeah, we've got those. Now the tech tree, we've got three points in our tech tree. There is a bone sickle, which is going to allow us, I'm going to get the drying rack, because I feel like I need to step up and put meat on the drying rack. I think that would actually probably make it better for us. This arrow, does it show us 31, 50% projectile break chance? 10% critical damage, 20% projectile break chance. Okay, so it reduces the break chance. Uh, I want to learn the bone arrow too, so we can bump up to that. Looks like we've got some other anti-parasite paste. What is this made out of? Sulfur, reed flour, and charcoal. Oh, really? Wouldn't I need a mortar pestle for that in order to do that? Um, anti-parasitic paste. 50% parasitic afflictions, duration, 50% health regeneration, reduces the duration of infection, and gives small health buff. Okay, so that's like a poison potion. Uh, the very first newcomers to Icarus. Okay, so maybe I should look at something like that, too. I need to make some suture kits, and uh, we've got different things we could be making. There's a heat bandage. What's this one do? Healing's frostbite. Okay, so we don't need that now. I think what we're, you guys were telling me is we're going to go into caves, and that's where the worms are going to be. And they have something that they spit at you. We have sulfur. I do not have reed flour. Well, maybe I do. We'll grab that. Let's see. I think I might have a thing called... I don't know. I got a couple flowers here somewhere. 
That's Lily, and that's T. So that is not... That, that's not going to be it. Uh, and then we've got some bones in here, so we're going to do some arrows, right? Let's do that. Grab the fiber. And let's go ahead and go to our crafting. I've spent all our points. I made accidentally the stone bone throwing knives last episode. Uh, I, I found the bone knife. It's up here. Bone arrows, and I need... Oh, I need leather, too. Oh, that's where it gets a little costly, huh? Is the leather. Sticks. Leather. Here we go. Okay, let's grab a stack of that. I imagine there is a table I know a little further down the road that we can do. Um, I can make five. That's it. Oh, I need more sticks. Okay. More sticks. Let's grab all those. Okay, now let's go back in there. What can I make? I can make 19. Wow, those seem... Exp are they expensive? Bones. I'm out of bones. Wow. Okay, so let's get some more of those. I'm going to do these arrows. We. Uh, I need to get better shooting. That's what I need to do. Um, Max, I get you get twenty per stack of bones, huh? Well, we're gonna do it. Stackheads, hello. Thanks for being here. There we go. All right, so I made the bone arrows. I don't know if I, I should have, but we made them. Uh, we've got 39 bone arrows, and I've got 31 stone arrows. I think I might stick with the stone for a little while longer, although the game seems to me it's all about kill, 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 and kill some more. Uh, that, that's what it seems like anyways. You do a lot of hunting, I noticed. Uh, where's my leather? There it is right there. Okay, of course we don't have any good storage or anything like that set up. Uh, let's go ahead and um, just drop those in there. I'm going to keep some of this stuff on me, of course. A little bit of wood, a little bit of stone for repairs, a little bit of fiber. Let's go ahead and eat these guys right here. I have a balanced diet of everything, as you can see. It's delicious. It's quite a delicious life I live. <laughs> Indeed. All right, let's go see if there's something to hunt. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a big old guy right there. Okay, so he's going to run for a little while, and then he'll stop running. I'm a little surprised I didn't get him. But then I'm going to go back into stealth. Sometimes it takes a lot of shots to get these guys dead. I'm using the, the stone arrows at the moment. I've been trying to kind of follow how these guys work. Every now and again I get that really good headshot, but then sometimes I just... It just doesn't happen for me. They don't run forever. There, there he is. He's just, he's just kind of stopped eventually. And I don't know why I'm not actually hitting him in the head, because it seems pretty dang accurate shot right there. There's the cave. We're going to check out the cave today. You guys tell me there's worms and stuff in there, so we'll be careful of that. Oh, there's my deer right there. There's a rabbit down there. It's hard to tell where my arrow's going. It's not You can't really see it. Yeah, you can't see the arrow. Maybe it's Maybe I'm trying to shoot from too far away. I wasn't having any problems with it the other day. Let's see if we can get this guy over here. I think I just alerted him is all I did. I suck. Got him again, but geez, you know. Some of the arrows I'll get back. Run by me like that, you sucker. Oh, jeez. I thought he was going to keep walking. <laughs> now, there's a wolf.
We'll go back to the deer in just a second. Let's let him calm down. Did he despawn? There he is, right there. Oh, 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 I'm in trouble. Whew. There we go. Nice. Didn't he? The cat got me a little bit. That kitty cat. The cat came out of nowhere. It is a pretty game, isn't it, Abyssar? I think so too. Yeah, the graphics are really nice. Oh, it's broken. There's much better tools down the road, of course. It's just, you know, typical progression. So we got the, 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 the wear down tools to make the grind at the beginning, you know, that much more difficult. Was there three wolves I killed? Or was it just two? I guess I cleaned up three wolves. The knife is the best bet for the close combat, I've noticed. I, I it's, it's hard. If you're just backing up a little bit, you can avoid a lot of attack that way. It's kind of waiting for the next day to arrive, so then we'll go out and um, a level, which is good. Uh, then we can go out and do uh, check out that cave. But at this point in time, there's my deer that I was hunting. There's another 80 hit to him. I, I need to aim for his head better. I'm just trying to figure out what is what's the distance. What is the distance that the game is okay with? Oh my God, how did I miss him? What the heck, man? That is, I don't understand that. <laughs> it was pretty dang close every shot, it seemed like. I hear another wolf, too. So you can see I can stay I could stay pretty close to home, you know, and and get a few things taken care of just right here. There seems to be plenty of deer. I just need to figure out what it is I need to do to shoot them better, because I am screwing that up royally. See, I don't know if I hit him or if I just spooked him. I don't know. Here comes another one over here. I hit him. Oh, and thank you for letting me know this bird is from Australia and it likes to steal stuff from you. <laughs> That's what it's known for, apparently. The Kia. Ikea? Ikea. Oh, there we go. Right through the old snout. About time. Where's the other one? Let's go get our guts. Get our guts on. Here it is. Some guts. Hold F. Mm-hmm. There it is. Get our arrows back, maybe. A couple of them. There we go. Perfect. It looks like you could carve up about two two animals with that. That's about it. And then water becomes a thing, too. So I, I've got to think that there's a water, probably a water purification device I should look into. Uh, possibly in today's episode as well, if that's a thing. I would think it is because I keep getting dysentery from... I don't get it every time, but it happens enough. And I've not had any trees come back that I'm aware of. I'm just kind of watching this area to see if that stuff comes back. Also, it was said you could back out to your character screen, then come back in and not have the fire uh, completely damaged um, forest over there. There we go. Got that bird. Yeehaw! Let's go for a swim. Clean up. Smell, Chesh. You stink a little bit. 
I'll kill everything. If it moves, I'm killing it. It's all points, right? I feel like it had a shadow. Oh, there was a, there was a shadow there. Got him. There we go. Shoot him out of the sky. Yeah, you guys will say he'll he'll he tends they tend to steal from you. I don't know. I don't think about that. But I'll believe you. Uh what do I need to repair this? I've got wood, I've got stone, I've got fiber. Uh oh I need a stick. Oh, there's a Komodo dragon. Let's repair that. Let's get us a Komodo. Missed. You gotta get those big numbers. Oh, there we go. There's a big one. There we go. Gotta get them big numbers on the Komoda. But trying to figure out where the best place is to shoot all the animals. The deer just... Uh, I, don't know. I don't know why I'm baffled by the deer. <laughs> oh, we got two more Komodos over here. That's interesting. I wonder why there's two more all of a sudden. Just like that. Real quick like. I don't really want to mess with those guys. Let's just... I've been kind of just kind of going up this way and down this way and just back and forth through here. And just killing everything that moves. We got the Komodos now, which is kind of a bummer. Okay, this comes straight at me. Nailed it. Okay, good. We got ourselves a goat. Ooh, and another white tail. Oh, baby. There we go. There's a couple of whammos right there. Oh, nope, 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 nope. I don't want you up here. I want you down here. There you No, I, I don't want you up here. I, kept, I, I told you that already. I need to go to number three. <laughs> Old F. There we go. Carve that thing up. Those Komodos are going to be coming over here. They'd be like, ooh, I smell death. And they would be right about that. I might eat that watermelon over there. And let's repair. There we go. Watermelon. There we go. Let's eat a little something. I heard something roar just now. I don't think I need all this stuff, but I'm going to just consume it anyways. I heard something that seemed sounded kind of large right there. Okay, there's two more deer under our belts. What level are we now? Tech tree, I got three points available. There's the bone sickle. I'm just going to hold off on that bone sickle for a little bit. I should make this drying rack is what I should do is go home and make that. What's that? Thought I heard a growl or a hiss or something there. Let's head back over the river. Get back home. Woo! Nice. Can I make that dry rack at the moment? What am I missing? I'm missing a little bit of everything is what I'm missing. Okay. I've got meat on me, so we might as well just hang it up, right? I mean, it makes sense. Sticks. Can I make it now? What, do we, what else did I need? I need uh, wood... Wooded fiber. Okay, wooden fiber. We've got that covered. There's fiber, there's wood. Let's go ahead and make that dry rack. Do, do, do. I'm thinking it's... Is it safe outside? Probably not. Nothing seems to be safe outside. That's a silly question on my part. 
I have a feeling it's going to break in a storm, correct? It would make sense to me that that's exactly what it would do. So I'm kind of cramming myself in here, in this, this little place. Um, I guess what I could do is maybe put it under here for now. And we'll throw all that on there. Is that right? This device will automatically craft when appropriate materials are added. Uh, raw meat. What does it say? Like, what's it say over here? Uh, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't take this kind of meat, huh? It doesn't take that meat? Oh, I guess I guess it doesn't take that meat, so I just cooked this in the campfire. That's kind of a bummer. That's all right. Whatever. I'll cook it this way. Just let that go. Jeez, man. My shooting is off today. That's that's kind of scary. I think that's scary. Let's see. Watch out for crocodiles. They're tough. Yeah, I've, I've, we saw the crocodiles. We did see them. Uh, they're, I think they're further down the river at the lake is what they are. There's another one of those guys. Oh, there's that wolf. Oh, there's one right there. Perfect. Oh, no way. Come on. That was right through his head. There we go. Right to the throat. Take it, Wolfie. Got the other one over here, too. Yeah, got to spend the day hunting. Tonight we'll do some building when the sun goes down. Although we'll probably be sleeping. Uh, we can sleep the night away, apparently, now. We'll see if that campfire, like I said, is close enough. I was thinking, I bet you could take one of these dead animals. Oh, 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 careful now. Careful. Careful. That's what I thought. Uh, three. Did not see that one come in. This meat, I can... Nope, I can't... It didn't give me string meat anyways. Uh, hold on a second. No, oh, stringy meat. I do have some stringy meat on me now. So we can put that on the dryer rack, right? That'll work. Um, what else we got floating around over here? I should grab one of these to deal with my O2. Let's see how much this actually... Well, I think I've had a few in my inventory already. I think one of these gives you like 40 of the oxide. Gives you like, well, there's 42. Inventory, and boom. It'll hold 50, so I've been just doing it that way. You have to do it like once a day. Not that big a deal. Look at that shot. Oh my god, the carnage. Oh, holy mo- oh, oh, there's that flower we were looking for. Charm of carbon that mm, mm, venison, baby. Mm, we like that. We like that a lot. Venison. Uh, come on. There's piranha in this water. Does this it here? Reed flower, there it is. Reed flower, perfect. Just up the river from us here. That's nice. Okay, so we got a couple of those for uh, the medical reasons, right? Which is some, some kind of a medical thing we're going to make. Uh, tab crafting. Let's see. Do I make that in here? Hmm. I'm guessing I don't. I guess there's a, probably a workbench. Oh, what's this here? No, nope, we can't make it here. I need the sulfur and some charcoal. Okay. Let's 
Lily. Keep our eyes open for some more of that purple flower. We only found two. Does it give you more than just one, or is it just... No, it's, it's literally one and two. Okay. Look by the waterfall here. That sounds nice, huh? The rapids here? Pretty cool. I do love the sounds in the game. Uh, graphically, it's very pretty. Oh, my, he saw me. The mountains look really nice. And yeah, I do enjoy this sound right here. I don't I wouldn't want to live next to it, but I do enjoy the sound. It's fun while you're right here in it. Hmm. The geyser over there, look at that. That's awesome. <laughs> Who's ready for spring? Yeah, I'm a little ready for spring. We've had a few nice days where it's gotten into the, like the low 70s and stuff, and now this week it's rainy, cold, and um, uh, a little windy. Oh, here we go. There's some more of that purple flower right there. The reed flower. Okay, the reed flower is important. Yeah, it's a pretty nice world, huh? It really is. Let's go check out that geyser. That's pretty awesome. We could be entering into an area that's a little tougher for us, but we'll see. Coffee beans. Oh, really? Coffee? Oh, that's right. We saw that last time, huh? It's got coffee in it. Let's make sure everything's repaired before we go walking in here. Jaguar. Come on, sucker. I'm going to take you down, buddy. Easy peasy. See, if I do number seven. Oh, I'm sorry. Zero. If I do that, does that bring up my health at all? Not really. Oh, 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 oh. Don't drop those. <laughs> Pick those back up, silly. What do you think you're doing? So, Jaguar country, huh? Hmm. Those jaguars, I just didn't even see it coming. This looks like sulfur to me if I've ever seen sulfur. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. Let's grab some of this here. Get ourselves a suture kit made. Very important. Be able to suture yourself, I would think. The other ingredient I need is charcoal, and I don't think I have any of that out here. I suppose I could get it by just cooking a furnace or building a campfire, huh? It's alright, we'll make it when we get home because I got that there. If we make it home. Something big just roared. Enzyme guys, we place a vapor condenser on top to harvest exotics and condensed enzymes. <laughs> wow, that sounds crazy and way off in the future. My first bunny. Mmm, rabbit's delicious. What's a bunny give you other than a little bit of XP? Oh, just little tiny guts. That geyser is awesome sounding and looking. That is really cool. All right. That's kind of exciting. Something for the future. It's a pretty world. It's actually pretty nice to be in here right now. I'm just kind of hanging out and roaming around, and it seems very nice to me. 
I got some adventure going on, but I've got a lot of animals that I'm hunting as well, it seems like, right now. There's a good variety of stuff. I feel silly killing little birds all the time, though. There's so many of them. Oh. It's not like an eagle. Oh, tag, you're it. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Carve it up. Give me the guts. Give me the bones. Oh, it broke. Boy, you gotta repair this thing, like, a lot. It did say that this air, this, this area was kind of, um... It was, I thought it was low animal count. Or medium. Maybe it was medium. And Predators was high. I can't really remember. So, Currents and M Enzymer. You need some bridges. I need some bridges, yeah. I know, right? Yeah, this play, this game is... I, I imagine you can do that, yeah. We've got a nice little chunk of the river down here, I think. It's a nice little piece. Got the stone wall on one side. I see a wolf over yonder here. I'm trying to get XP built up. I'm really trying to trying to get to 15 so I don't do too much of this stone wood building because it just seems like a waste. Stuff gets damaged so fast. Oh yeah. Gotcha. Weather event incoming. There it is. The first one. Wow. Okay. That was nice. It hasn't happened for quite some time now. Not since we've been on. We've been on for 32 minutes and I've not had a storm yet. That's not too shabby. Uh, let's... We've got a yellow bush like this down by our place, too. I think that's a tea. Everything's got a medicine. What is this one here? Yeast. Does it spoil? It doesn't spoil. Doesn't look like it. Well, thank you for letting me know, too, that that sound I keep hearing is um, something related to my food. Oh, I hit him. Can't believe it. If I sound shocked, I am. Oh! Right at my feet! Take it, wolf! Oh. Repair. go. Quick. To the house. It's way down there. We found the purple flower. We just need some charcoal and then we can get the... Uh, oh, let's drink the water. Oh, didn't get dysentery that time. Nice. Go stamina, go. Let's, uh... What the... Oh! <laughs> I wanted this! Oh, no. Uh, there goes. Some stringy meat can go in there, and that stuff doesn't work in there, right? Yeah, the stringy meat goes. Okay. Alright, um, I dropped a bunch of rocks all over the place. Uh, yes, I'm over-encumbered. Let's go tab. I think I did two of them, actually. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Let's craft it. There it is, right there. I've got to put these down. Uh, oh, it's very heavy. It's super heavy. Be able to put it right up here, and then I gotta make one more. Oh, there's only one stone in here. All right, good. We're good. Over encumbered. Oh, I must have picked up another stack. Am I over encumbered by one?
What am I over encumbered by? Oh my god, I'm so un encumbered. I need to get inside. Oh, get me inside. That was horrible. I gotta pick all that stuff up. Whew. Okay, that was a major screw up. Okay, exposure's done. Jeez, man, I really screwed that up. I accidentally picked up that those blocks over there. There's all kinds of stuff I messed up on there. Oh, number nine. There it is. I see it. I didn't realize I had that stack of stone on me. This is just not going to work right there. we got to expand this the next time I get a chance. We're, we're done with the uh, weather here. I think I got everything. Whew. There we go. Storm. Sounds like the storm's over now. Or not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my house is falling apart. Why is the wind so insane here? Wooden houses were better than this. I'm a horrible carpenter. Uh, yeah, the, the 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 stone is what we're trying to get to. You got to be level 15 to open the masonry bench, and then you can build out of stone. Uh, stone does not take. Maybe it takes some damage, but I don't think you have to be like. If we hadn't been here, this would have been completely gone. I mean, just completely gone. So it's better that we were here. That's why I said I'm, I'm kind of staying close to home. Because you have to be here for these storms. You just have to be. Let's check everybody. I think there's also concrete after stone. I think. Not sure. Okay, I think we got it. Whew. Okay, so I got a ton of stuff on my inventory. Let's go ahead and go and drop some stuff off. Bones, bones, and bones. Uh, then we got some leather. This is for sticks. I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna drop everything out of my inventory and then pick stuff back up again. Uh, let's go back to number two. We got some sulfur. It stacks to fifty, huh? Okay. Of course it does. Some hide, some leather, some more leather. Okay, so you get a fair amount of leather when you're out and about doing the hunting. I was just kind of curious as to just how much I was actually picking up, but it looks like it's a fair amount. We got more bone on me, and then we've got the purple flowers, and it was the sulfur. I need sulfur and um, some charcoal. I oh, there we go, right there. There's some. Okay, so let's make a couple of these medicine items, and we've got seven points to spend. That's really great. Let's get this taken care of first. Let's go uh, one, two, three. How many do I have? Four, five. I don't see any other recipe with this flower, so. 
Okay, I've got three of those. Anti-parasite. Uh, cloth feet armor. How is my armor looking anyways? Can I... Okay, I can repair this stuff too. Alright, very good. I should probably get the rest of the armor as well. Uh, sorry, I'm not looking over at chat just at the moment here. I'll give me a second here. And then... Uh, so that took care of the medications. The suture kit... Uh, I want to make some of those. We make five suture kits and have those here. Or do we take them with us? The meds probably should go with us, I would think. No, I don't want to make 19. I said five. There we go. I don't think it read my, my request to have it crafted. Uh, where did I put my sulfur? Uh, let me turn my light too so you guys can see. Looks like the sun is finally going down for the day. Well, where is it? There it is. Uh, sulfur. Do I have any room for hiding there? I don't. It's going to go right down in number nine. This seems so small down here for me. Shift plus, left shift plus control transfer all types. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, I'll throw the charcoal back in there. I've got spoiled meat. I don't know how long that stuff kind of lasts for. I got stuff in here that's not bones. Let's grab that. Let's put this in here. Okay, good. I'm full on that. That's excellent. Now, can I sleep this night away? We'll have to try that out. All right, we survived the storm. Tomorrow, we're going to get the walls put up and do a bit of crafting and stuff like that and get that taken care of. I'm going to turn this light off. I think I need to have the campfire going, probably. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. We need to get that move someplace where it's on its own. Let me get my light turned on for you guys. Campfire's burning. It's got a bunch of cooked meat in it. Let's see if we can sleep. You can only sleep between 6 p.m. and 7 a.m. It says it's 7.06. Did I do that wrong? Can I not sleep? It's showing me that I've got one thing I can't do, right? I have slept. Oh, wow. Okay. Really? Oh. Wow, that was fast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I expected something to, I, I don't know, happen, you know? Kind of anima anim animation or something. Jeez. Uh, all right, let's get this taken care of first. We're going to need some fiber. Sorry, I'm fumbling with my chest. I don't know where things are at the moment. We're kind of all over the place at the moment. Let's go to our inventory. We should probably do our tech tree. Okay, we did some medicine stuff. I can get the cloth head armor. I'm going to grab that too. I've got five more points to go. There's the big box up there. Um, wood half pieces. Oh, really? Hmm. Wood half pieces. That's interesting. I'm going to grab the wood stairs. Um... Tier 2 is now open for me. Oh, can I? Crafting bench. Let's grab that guy. Rain reservoir. Aha! Uh -huh. Rain reservoir will help us with our water issue. Simple and durable way to collect rainwater. Water can be consumed directly from the reservoir or it will refill on equipped container. Is there a reskill item for Icarus? You know, I don't know. 
I don't know that. I answered that question. Sorry about that. I don't know. There's a cooking station. There's a stone furnace. Water bomb. Water skin. Oxide dissolver. Where's our stone stuff at? Herbal bench. Mortar pestle. A wood crop plot. Holy crap. There is a ton of awesome stuff in here. Look at all this stuff. Rustic decoration bench. Wood gate fortification. Fur armor, leather armor, ghillie armor. Oh, I'm not there yet. Masonry bench is right down here. Where? What am I at? I'm a level 10, huh? So we're, we're back here still. We're back here. Is there anything in tier 1 left that I need? Um, we've gotten to the end of the list over here. I don't know that I need that other than I wanted the stair for sure. May come back later and grab these guys here. Maybe. The wood window as well. We might grab all the wood pieces. There's rope, but that's blocked. There's the medium wood crate. Uh, would not be bad to have another crate. Flare arrow. projection Projects your position into the sky. I don't need that. We got the other pieces of armor. I was thinking the heat bandage might be good for frostbite, but I don't know if we're going to be going. There's a cooling bandage for the desert, so I see. But from this biome, we could decide if we want to go to the desert first or go to the snow for, first. The sickle is probably something I should do. And then there's a fire pit. What's this for? Cooking and heating. Okay, we're going to stick with the campfire for now. I'm going to go with the bone sickle. Floor torch, wood torch, fire pit. I guess I could get the fire pit too if I wanted to. But then tier two, uh, there was the water collector. I think I want to do the rain reservoir. Um, oh boy. Is the water skin worth it? Basic water bladder, not perfectly watertight. So it's going to lose water as it goes. Uh, there's a new bow. Oh, over here I see it. The long bow. Okay, okay, long bow. Yeah, maybe that's yeah, that's a good one. There, thank you. Glad you saw that. Let's do the long bow and upgrade our our weapon as well. Good one. Okay. Wow, look at all this stuff, you guys. There is a ton of stuff to make in here. Awesome. Uh, okay, so, wow, that is, that's kind of overwhelming. There's so much stuff in there. Let's go crafting. Uh, I've got, uh, what armor did I open? Cloth head armor? Let's see, what am I wearing at the moment? I need head and arms. Okay. Head and arms. There we go. Oh, uh, that's... Let's just destroy the whole food there. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and consume, 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 consume. I'm just eating everything because it's there, you know. Well, I can't put those there, huh? Because one of them spoiled and the other ones didn't. Let's see, can I get them now? They only stacked to 20. That's probably why. Okay. I'm just picking out, man. I'm feeding them. I got 16 meat on me, too. Um, okay. Oh, there's a bear. That's a bear. I know him when I see him, and that is a bear. Oh, boy. We're going to have to deal with him, I'm sure. Get back in here real quick. Let's turn off our light, too. Um... He was coming this way. Okay, so I've got my armor on. That looks really weird <laughs> over that. That looks a little strange, doesn't it? Okay, and then we're going to make some walls inventory. Hold on. Crafting. I'm kind of hoping I can get this up without that bear bugging me. Let's go. Um, what can I make? I can make seven. Let's make six. Six walls. Just 
just to give us a little bit more space. It's kind of nice that it'll actually, actually build that there. Is my light on? No. Okay, good. Uh, variants are... Put the door over here. We'll do that, and then we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to put a door there this time, and we're going to go with... Regular wall. I'm going to assume that clicked in the right position. Can I make any more of those? I'll grab that wood. Can I do Y on this door? Hmm. Got that bear out there still. Yeah, why can't I pick up that door? Oh, press. Oh, okay, really? Okay. That's interesting. Huh, I hadn't even thought about that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so for the doors, you have to hold down X to pick them up. Okay. Colliding. It doesn't like that spot there. But it will do it there. All right, so we got to get that food thing out of there. Okay, the bear has wandered way off now. That's good. Uh, maybe I do... I wonder if I could get a piece of ground to go on there where we've got this, um... Hold on, hold on, what a we... wood floor. Right here over this dirt. Every now and again I, f I hear something that sounds like really loud footsteps, like a boom, boom, boom. I'm like, what is that sound? Like something's coming up on me that's going to, you know, kill me. I will go on the dirt. Okay, that's fine. We won't have this here, but we'll go ahead and take this guy and move him out here, I think. Take all. Okay, and what do I do to pick you up? Just X. Okay, good deal. Let's move him outside. We'll put a little bit of roof over the top of it, too. We'll expand nice and slowly, I guess. Water's low, right. Uh, it's got no food on it right now, so I don't know that I have to worry too much about Well, we, we should get it ready to go. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Can I do Y here? Leave the pole there for support. There we go. That'll work. Gets us a little more space in here anyways, right? You know, a little bit more. So let's go ahead and go to our inventory. And we should have the pieces, parts we need then to replace this over here. We didn't do the poles, though, did we? So we're going to have to make some more poles. Um, sure. Give me seven of those. So far, it's been fun. It's a hard map, you say? Yeah, I imagine it probably does get pretty tough in here after a while. You know? I fully expect that. Uh, number six. Nope, number seven, actually. Oh, there we go. Uh, number four, I wonder if I can get these in here. No, number eight, I'm sorry. That's my wall. Yeah, I don't need walls right now. What I need is the... Uh, I need some ceiling pieces. Oh, man. Okay, so I need some more wood. Okay, let's get this. Uh, let's, I can't move that one because it's covered up with the other stuff. 
There we go. And we're going to craft a couple of ceilings. Roof. There we go. I oh, know. It's nothing exciting. We're getting our feet wet and trying to get to level 15. And then we can really get to doing some building. I think, anyways. That's what it feels like to me, anyways. We're kind of, um, you know, learning how to survive here. Come on. I know you want to. Nope. I had you. There you are, right there. Okay, beautiful. And then I... Th you know what? I think I will put a wall behind the dry rack. Maybe I'll do... You know what? Maybe what I'll do is I'll do this instead. I keep hitting four because I see how many of those I have. Eight. Do that right there. Uh, number four. Number nine. Sorry. Will this actually go there? Come on now. If I take this off, it'll go in there easier. I don't know. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, it, like that. Okay, so I pointed down a little bit there. That seemed to help. Uh, walls, eight. Yeah, we'll put the dry rack in here. You know, I didn't learn was the wooden railing. I see what that half piece does. That hangs off just a little bit, doesn't it? It gives us some eaves, doesn't it? Hmm. I can see where that could be very, very handy to have. You know that? Eaves? I always wish games would have that stuff. Oh, there you go. Right there. There we go. All right, beautiful. Okay, so we got our dry rack up there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this stack of stone. I wish it stayed a stack of stone. That way I didn't have to craft it again. That's a big old kitty down there by the water, I think. That is a big old cat right down there. We got a bunch of... Uh, Baddies coming in here. Couldn't take it. Come on, hurry up. Give me the guts. I'm underwater here. Oh, I, got, I can't take all of it. Then I'm going to wind up drowning. Anything I put on here? I've got so much stuff in my inventory. What a waste. Just drop it. I got a bunch of wood on me. It's taking up two different slots, which is just weird. Drop that in there. I don't want predators coming in here. There we go. There we go. Okay, we're good. Oh. Now hunting has begun again. All the animals are respawning and coming in. Yeah, there's ample animals to hunt. Okay, so the bear and a jaguar. Jeez, man. That's kind of that's some serious animals right there. I'm trying to think. Uh, this house is going to stretch over this way towards the cliff face. And I know there's water wheels and stuff in the game for electricity, and I just can't help but resist to want to build something that's going to go over to this area here so we can utilize the uh, flowing water as well. We got a little bit bigger here so far, but uh, 
you know. I think it's that's pretty good. Spacious wise, we've got a little bit of room now. I could throw some did we learn the bigger box? I don't know if I did or not. Yeah, that's much better. So we've got a little bit of space in here now. I think maybe make take all the chests and put them along the wall back here would be good. Uh, the bedroll we slept in. I guess we're close enough to the campfire. This thing I've not been using. And then we've got the water catchment too that I need to look at. Let me uh, let me go fill my coffee cup up and I'll come back. Uh, I, I don't think that's going to actually pause the game. I'm going to return to character select. And then I'm going to take a little break. Uh, go get my coffee filled up. I'll come back and we'll jump back in. And I did say we we're going to go check out a cave. So we should go do that. And we're back. Thank you, Quayhawks. Did I say that right? Quayhawks? Quahawks? Thanks for the subscription. Well, let's resume. Okay, so I'm curious. Can you build uh, the wood walls below the floor pieces? Second time the best time. Quahawks, okay. You can. Okay, so you can fill in those gaps where you've got the poles showing the... Okay, I was curious about that. All right, good. Okay, all right. JP says it's possible. I was just wondering because it looks kind of weird with uh, the building sitting up on those posts. It'd be different if those posts were a little bit bigger, but they're not. So um, do I have any walls on me? I do. I've got two. Let's try that. What I'm thinking is over here, if we can do... Hmm. Down here is where I wanted them to go. Oh. There it is, there it is. There we go. Okay, so you can do that. That looks much better. I mean, right? It looks so much better that way. Much. Oops. Well, I made. I, I learned the stairs, didn't I? Stairs. Well, maybe I didn't do that. Maybe I didn't learn stairs. I thought I did. Okay, I did, and I also learned a workbench too. Stairs is wood and fiber. It's the ramp, but you press R, huh? Okay, the wood roof ramp. Let's try one of those, because I've not seen one of those yet. Eight, and then R. Ah, thank you. Okay. All right, that's not so that's not too shabby. That half wall, I'm wondering if I use that little half wall piece that they talk about for decoration, if that dangles off the edge, does that protect the walls from um, storm damage? And then the eaves as well over here. I would think that would help with storm damage possibly. Um, I was wondering about that as well. So we could fix all that up. That's nice to see that the, the walls do that. Sometimes the game doesn't let you do that. And then you get these just these spindly legs, they don't look um, sturdy enough, if you ask me, sometimes. Uh, cooked meat, all right, we've got some more meat cooked. Uh, we've got some wolf meat, too, that we could put in here. Uh, stringy meat, in you go. And then, yeah, so I've got so much food. Cooked stringy meat, dried stringy meat, cooked meat, cooked meat, raw meat. Uh, I suppose I could put that in a box and just let it rot, right? Some of it. Use it for something else down the road? I don't know. We'll just throw it in there and see what happens to it. Uh, there's some rotten stuff right there, too. This does not. This product has certainly passed its best. Requires talent to consume. I wouldn't eat that if I were you. Okay. Well, I'm not going to. 
we're not going to eat that. I've got a couple of furs here too. I need to get my boxes kind of organized. Did we? Did we? Did I learn the medium box even? I, I can't remember if I did or not. We need to get that workbench put up also. Oh, there's furs right there. Furs, and then my bones are everywhere. Inventory. There is a lot going on with this game. I could tell that already. I've got some building pieces in here. What don't I need on me? A lot of this stuff, I bet. I got all kinds of food. It's a crazy amount of food. Yeah, it's a crazy amount of food. Well, you're use it for biofuel. That's why I kind of figured there's going to be a reason for having the rotten food or just the spoiled food. So maybe I won't throw it out. Maybe I'll just make a box to just throw that kind of stuff into. And then down the road when it calls for it. I got to imagine this is, in this game, just about everything has a use eventually for it. So, like, I got this yeast and stuff. Did I did I learn the bigger box? Sorry, guys. I'm back and forth here. It's It's a huge tech tree. It's incredible. I did not learn the bigger box. Okay. Um, unfortunately, that's going to have to be a must, I think, is the bigger box to get that going. And then um, talents. I have some, I've got three points available by talents, so that's good. All right, so we put something into weight. Hunting. Find butcher. Increase meat yield when skinning. Uh, chase them down. Increase to base stamina. Okay, I'm going to go ahead. What is this here? Strong shoulders. No. Swift stalker. Move speed while crouching. No, not into the bone collector. Increase bone yield when skinning. No. Leather breakdown. Unlocks the ability to turn leather into rope. I feel like that's an important thing. Take cabinets instead of bigger box. More room in that. Okay. Skog, thanks. I'll, I'll take a look for that. Cooking, filling meals, eating, filling meal, refills, hunger bar more rapidly. Slows decay of food and inventory. Uh, to be honest, food has not been an issue for me. I'm going to go with the leather breakdown. And I think I'm going to do another stamina, just so my stamina is good. I've got one point left. It's habitation, careful hits. God, yeah, see, i got to spread these points out over all of this stuff. Discount thatch now. Well cared for, reduced crafting cost of, t of taming equipment, grazing for the herd and back in the saddle. Increased stamina regeneration. I'm going to do that. And then there's combat. Wow. Lots of different little areas to go down, huh? Lots of stuff to take in. Okay, now there was also a workbench that I learned. Here it is, right here. Leather, wood, and fiber. 50 wood. Leather, wood, and fiber. Okay. Leather. Uh, wood. And... Fiber. There you are, right there. Okay, let's grab all of that. Let's get this workbench set up and see what it may have in it that we need to take a look at. I have a solo point too. Oh. Oh, geez. Um, okay, thank you. Marathon runner, increased base stamina. Fleet footed, increased base move speed. Healthy Maverick, increased base health. Heavy hitter, a general increase to melee damage. Steel ankles, reduced chance of sprain from fall damage. Tis but a scratch, reduced damage from animals. Hmm. Increased base stamina. I'm going to go with the... Uh, I just did a couple things in stamina. I'm going to go ahead and grab a health one over here. Let's do a health one. Speed and stamina is good for now, huh? Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Did I make that uh, box? That workbench? Oh, there it is. Perfect. Eight. All right, so you're kind of a sizable fella. In such a small little room.
we're going to get this out of the way. It's going to take me a second to move everything. Uh, let's just drop what we have. Let's drop that, 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 that. The yeast can go in there. Those guys can go in there. We'll pick this stuff up. Oh. Bones, bones, and more bones. So I've got plenty of bones for like arrows and stuff, I think. It looks pretty good so far. I'm going to grab those stuff out of there. Do the hide there too, and we'll throw those in right there. It's wood. And I'm going to drop these guys in here. I should probably get a, f a food box this is specifically made for these items that don't spoil. So I know where to look for them uh, when I come back in here to use them. All right. Uh, cook stringy meat. Consume it. There we go. Everything can move over a little bit. Perfect. Okay. Now let's get this guy put where he needs to be. Have a little bit more space. We have four solo points, so three left. Four solo points. Okay, let me take a look and see in there. Sorry, guys. Um, inventory. I've got something walking around outside, too. I just saw it. Number nine. I'm going to put you right here. I think I can put a bunch of stuff in here too, right? I got to make rope, and then the rain reservoir has to be made in here too. So I can actually take a bunch of the stuff that's in these boxes, can't I? And put them in this workbench. And just store it in here. Oh, beautiful. That's perfect. I love that to death. Okay, that's fantastic. That's going to save us a lot of space. All right, very cool. So rope, I should probably make, let's at least craft a rope so we could say we've done that. And I could craft this sucker too. That's going to be the rain reservoir. All right. We'll get some water going on. Oh, and then there's the new longbow too. Let's craft that as well. Remains one of humanity's greatest inventions, the rope. Get a rope. And then let's put the bow down here. Can I repair that over here? Oh, look at that. That's awesome. I can actually do that. Okay. And you have a powerful but heavy long-range weapon. 25% 20, projectile damage plus one ammo capacity. 300 rate of fire per minute. It's got a lot of extra stuff to it, doesn't it? Uh, repair. So it's looking in the workbench right here. What's going on? Oh, my stamina. It's actually using the workbench to repair these items, isn't it? It looks like it is. Can I put that in there? Can I put pieces of this in here? I can. Oh, that's really handy. I like that little device right there. Now I'm thinking... Uh, crap. Three. Right here at the door. That's how I like my food. I like it to come to the door. Have some privacy with my wolf. Oh no. We got a the wolf pack here or something going on? Okay. Okay, I was gonna, I was setting up a water thing. <laughs> it's distracted by wolves. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably got to sit outside, right? I mean, it's supposed to be for the rain. Maybe off to the side of a wall here so that when the water runs off the roof, it falls into this. Awesome. Oh. You gotta put ice in here? 
No. Simple, durable way to collect rainwater. Okay, all right. Uh, do I want a window? Uh, maybe, maybe I do. Not at the moment, I don't. We got a critter over here. Something's walking around over here. It's got a red marker on it. It's a Komodo. Dang it, Jim. Ooh, one shot kill on a Komodo. <laughs> nice. Take it, you lousy lizard. Give me your guts. I'm going to eat you. Uh -huh. I'm going to make things out of your guts. Repair. Longbow, nice. How did that not just kill it? Baffling. I think that uh, deer is stuck over here. No, it ain't. All right, so hold on. I'm getting distracted, which is a really good thing when it comes for me playing a game. I love the fact that I'm getting distracted. Okay, so this guy should fill up with rainwater once it uh, once it rains. I notice it says fuel though in there, which kind of baffles me. I guess if I threw ice in here, that would melt. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see. Alright, so I think I've done everything I wanted to do in the base at the moment. I've got throwing knives on me. I don't need this whacker on me. I'm going to throw that in here too. The whacker can go in there. Uh, i got some bones and some things on me. And I love the fact that I could just drop this crap in there. That's really nice. I could even throw those in there. Nice. Okay, good deal. Got some string meat again. Since the wolves were here. Drop you in there, and this here meat, I'm going to just drop in this chest so it can rot. I'll just throw it in there. There we go. Perfect. Just like that. I got a little bit of this, a little bit of that in my inventory. I got some sutures. I got some bandages. I got a hammer. I guess I don't need the hammer, do I? I'm not really building anything. Well, I'm going to keep the hammer on me. Just so it's always available to me. It looks like I'm going to need a little bit of thatch and some... What is it for uh, the, the torch? Just some sticks and some fiber. We'll grab that on the way. I want to go take a look at that cave. Poke my head in it and see what it is all about. Let's grab a couple of sticks though. I want to make sure it's bright enough for you guys to see in there. We were down here right where we saw it. It's just on the other side of this hill from us here. I think, I think, I think, I think. Can I get this guy this time? Jeez. Oh, um, what, what happened to my bow? Where's my bow? Did I, did I throw my bow? <laughs> did I throw it away? What happened to it? I just left your bow. I see that. Is it in here? What the heck? No, that's not the right bow. There it is. There it is. The only reason I knew that was because I hit five and my hammer came up. The bow's always on five. Water's low. I, I realize. Okay. Let's get a drink. Here's some wolves. Oh, well, they're way down here. Way down here. Anything else, I gotta get my arrow back, right? A little bit of fiber, a little bit of stickage. Just a, just a few. There's the cave. I should probably grab a little bit of this too, just to get my O2 jacked up a little bit. Alright, let's grab that. That's almost full. I'm going to go ahead and consume that. But there, watermelon. Some more sulfur out here.
Can you guys tell me there are... Oh, there's a jaguar right there. Right there. Jaguar kitty. Oh, jeez. That didn't kill it. Hoo-hoo! The second one did, though. Dang, man. Two shots. Nice. Keep you cool. Never let him see you get nervous. Alright, let's go ahead and repair that. I've got some antidote on me. <laughs> I think it's antidote, actually, not antidote. Oh, this is interesting. Look how this comes up. Oh, it's. it's, it's oh. Yeah? Am I feeling better already? Gold! What is that? A wolf? Iron? What? Oh, I see you. I see you. Oh, right in the face as he stuck his head up. I, I like that. That's fun. That's a good time right there. Get, no, hit this. Those are the worms, huh? Oh, oh, there's another one. Thank God, they're noisy when they come up. Oh, you can't even hit me over here, can you? Maybe I didn't kill him the first time. Maybe. Possibly. We are no longer cavemen. We have found iron. How much did I get there? 16, huh? Uh, I'm going to drop that meat. I'm going to drop that meat. What is this worm scale? That's bound to be worth something, right? Uh, What's a poison sack? 16 irons, huh? Right, let's grab a little more iron. 66 XP for every time I hit it. I should eat some food. Let's see if this brings up my... There goes. There goes my health. There we go. I'm feeling better already. What is this here? Pneumonia. Severe pneumonia? I better get out of here. What the heck? That was a very... I wasn't even in there for very long. Whew. So that's it, huh? That's all the time I could spend in there at the moment. Wow. That uh, kind of messed me up, I think, didn't it? 532. What can I do about pneumonia? Oh, let's grab this uh, oxide. Uh, we got a bunch of deer down the down the way from us here. Well, a bunch, by and, and when I say a bunch, I mean two. <laughs> There's two, two deer down there, being deer. Uh, yeah, pneumonia. What do I do about pneumonia here? Let's hold on. Let's go inside here. This is this is bad. Um, let's turn my light on so you guys can see the beautiful cabin here in the woods. Uh, pneumonia. Severe infection of the lungs slows health and stamina regeneration heals over time. Oh. So four minutes and eighty four hundred and eighty seconds, huh? Alright. So that's something to watch out for when you go in the caves. Gotcha. So it's kind of a smash and grab, huh? 
Yeah, later we'll have tools to deal with it. I imagine so. Yeah, this is... I feel like I, I know what this is. This is the very beginning of the game. It's keeping you close to home. You've got your trees. you got your stone. you got all the little things you need just to kind of get yourself leveled up for a bit. Get yourself... Get your feet underneath you. And then, then we really start to move out from here. So that's pretty cool. That's all right with me. It's fine with me. I'm in no hurry. I'm here to play the game and have fun with it. So, so far, so good. Uh, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I tell you, a poison sack, sure. Let's throw that in there. And those things are different, too. I've never seen that before. We're going to have to get the forge, it looks like, right? I mean, that just makes sense that we need the forge. And we're going to drop you into there. I would like to get to stone. We're at level 10. We haven't made it to 11 yet. Ay, ay, ay. It's going to take a little while. Fiber. Oh, I'm just throwing it in here. Right? That's what we're doing. We're just throwing it in here. Makes perfect sense to just throw it in there. Um, okay, so there's nothing else in here for me to craft, huh? There's the bow. I got the different things in here I can go to. All right, very good. Uh, but we need to get we need to get our storage. We need to get uh, oh XP going. At level 10 already, it's kind of a challenge to get that XP put together. Oh, right to the face. Something, something XP there. Don't quite know how much I got, but we got some. Where's that deer at? Where'd you go? There you are. Genetically altered, genetically modified member of the Servid family. Oh, I should read those and see what it says. We were talking about what kind of world this is. Why did I, why did I get off a spaceship with nothing, <laughs> you know? And why was I dropped off on this planet where all the creatures can roam around and breathe the air, but I can't? These things came to my mind. And then we had answers in the comments. It's, it's just too dark. I might as well, I might as well sleep. What, what is this coming at me? Why is he running so fast? What's he running from? Hey, what's going on around here? I swear to God, every now and then I hear these boom, boom kind of sounds. There should be nothing in here yet, right? Yeah, there's nothing in there. Throw that meat in there. Let it spoil. I'm going to sleep. What is this middle screen here showing me? I don't have my campfire on, is that it? Don't do it. Don't do it, wolves. You don't want a piece of me. Trust me. I'm stringy. Uh, my health bar jumps straight up, too. I guess maybe sleeping probably gives you a little bit of a boost on that, too. But yeah, it looks like I'm going to have to. One of you had mentioned that um, to put a couple boxes near the cave. That way you can kind of go in and out and grab stuff, bring it out, put it down. You know, that sort of stuff going on. Let's see if we can... Uh, I guess it's just... Now it's mostly hunt. Oh, baby! Oh. Take it easy. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Who knew I was such a great shot? You guys playing? You enjoying it? The game? I find it to be a really nice world to be in. It's quite relaxing. I mean, there is a lot of this going on constantly. You're always killing stuff. 
But I don't know another way to get um, decent XP to kind of really get going. Um, once we get the stone stuff open, then it's just a matter of building, you know, I, I just don't want to build big right now. It doesn't make any sense to me to build large when I'm waiting on stone. Be better off making do with what I have there and then, you know, building something better once we can. I know there's stone foundations and stuff as well coming, so. I feel like that's what needs to be done. So the cave was interesting. Not super tough. I mean, they hit me. The pneumonia kind of sucks. Nice, gotcha. Didn't take an arrow. Just a swing of the old bone knife. Got your guts in my pocket now, rabbit. Yeah, you really can't get too far from home because we got to get back to repair everything, you know, when if a storm hits. You can imagine the people that first played this game and left the house and came back to find... Oh, critical freaking strike. Is he dead? Did I kill him with that one shot? Right to the side of the head, right in the temple. First time they got back and found their base <laughs> was um, gone, you know? Talk about freaking you out. Hey, well, I had a base right here, didn't I? I don't care who you are, that was a good shot to come over Dragon Head right there. Uh, it's not worth using these bone arrows on rabbits. Just a little bit of XP, poor little guy. <laughs> The XP is actually hidden behind my screen holder. That's why I don't exactly know what I'm getting. I can't see it. Yeah, chopping trees and chopping stone and all that stuff huh, is the way you get your XP. Yeah, I figured as much. That's what I've been doing. Well, you saw I had several piles of it. And I'll do several more piles of it too. Right now, the hunting is actually kind of fun to go out and do. I imagine eventually you don't need to do too much of this either once you get the farming up and running. Oh, what's over here? Oh, he's fast. Weather event incoming. Here we go. See? See what I mean? Once we're at stone, then we shouldn't have to worry about this too much. We'll be out where we are. We'll just dig a hole in a rock and stay there until the storm passes. But until then, oh, that bear would have been worth some points, huh? Here comes the event. Woo! Maybe it's going to be a light storm. Three solo points. Okay, right. Oh my god, I totally forgot that I had those solo points. Okay, I got three more. There they are. Okay, so let's do... Well, we should do the stamina, right? Bounce back, increase base health regen. Do one there. Melee damage, huh? Increase base health regen. I'm going to go with that right there. And then what have we got here? Very, very quiet. Harder to detect when sneaking. Sweet, savory, satisfied. Food buffs persist longer. Pack horse. Increased inventory weight capacity. Yes, please. Thank you. And we really don't have anything else to spend, do we? No. So next one, I think I'm going to get the bigger box. Well, you guys stay to switch. Just wait until we get the uh, the wood crate. There's the chest. That's all thatch stuff. Must be maybe tier two. Stone furnace. Uh, simple stone furnace for smelting iron and copper. We're going to have to get one of these guys made. I have to learn that. That seems like it'd be pretty important right now for me to get a hold of. And then the anvil bench too, right? Heavy white work, surface iron steel tools using tools smelt in their appropriate furnaces. 
Okay, we got the storm here. Let's take a look and see if we've got any damage happening here. Yeah, I wonder if those hangovers would help. Ooh. Uh oh, uh-oh. Help with the storm damage, sorry. A little bit of hangover, just a little bit of eaves keep the water from banging up against the side of the building. I don't know. I know it's not going to stop it from lightning hitting it. I should probably have that since we do have lightning. I should put you in here. Okay, it's picking up. Need some wood too. Wood cupboards in the tier two, okay. Do you have the item to put down the fire? Yeah, I've got it there at number seven. The whacker or something like that? So weird. Just never seen anything take so much damage so fast. The only repair after the storm? Does it only whittle down so far that it stops breaking? I've never really tried that to see what it does when it's breaking. Oh, really? It has a certain limit and then it stops breaking, huh? Hmm. Interesting. Because I noticed the boxes sitting outside completely disappear and just the contents of the box is sitting there. Well, that's the worst wall we have. We'll leave that wall alone. Sounds like it's over. Yeah, you really gotta stick with it, man. You can't go far, that's for dang sure. One of those games where, you know, these resources, I, I don't have like a ton of stuff here, but what I do have took me a little while to go out and gather, you know? You don't want to just throw it out and waste it by having it disappear on you. You're not, you're, you're damaged too? Okay, it looks to me like we're ahead of it. Well, this one got about down to 760 out of 1,000, so it's that's the worst I had it happen here. If it was any bigger than this, this would be a major downside of the game for me. If I had to do this every single time and there was no way of building a building that didn't suffer all this damage every time a storm came, I don't know if I'd be as interested in it.
But I do like the building on it, and I do like the world, like I said. It's pretty nice. Uh, let's go back to crafting. We're almost level 11. Let's go ahead and keep doing some hunting. Well, you know what? I've got that fire whacker on me here. Uh, boop. And boop. There we go. Perfect. And we'll drop you in there. We'll drop you in there. Uh, yes, drop you. Yes, drop you. I've got the wood. i got a little bit of stone on me. Uh, the rest of this stuff go in here. Drop you. Drop you. Keep you. Keep you. Keep you. I'm actually going to... Well, we'll hold on to those arrows. All right. Torch just burned out. Let's go ahead and repair that. And... Re I can't repair that right now. Back on the hunt. Storm's over. We go back out and we hunt. That's weird. It'd be cool and cool if a piranha came up and grabbed a hold of him. I'm going to Komodo down here. Oh, come on now. Hold on, everybody. He's got a rock. <laughs> the stone building much better. Now, does the stone building... Answer me this, guys. Does the stone building um, take damage like the wood stuff does? Uh, much less. Okay, so it's not like it's a constant thing you got to be after. If I did it every so often, I could have everything repaired and looking pretty good. Okay, so that's that's not that big a deal then. Um. Okay, so how's our O2? O2. The water and food are both looking pretty crappy. Let's go ahead and eat and eat, and I'm gonna eat a little bit of everything just because I've got so much food on me. Oh. It's funny, I didn't get the slow motion, but I did get the stealth kill. So does anybody ever... Like, you could take these dead animals. Now, I'm thinking about trying this out and doing it, just because I think it'd probably be worth, worth doing. Um... If I take one of these deer back, say, and I drop it off outside my house, it's going to call in predators far and wide, right? The animals just start showing up because you got a dead carcass sitting there. So I was wondering if you can kind of just set it up to be a trap that way, where you just have a whole bunch of them come in and do that. Help me get his butt up over that hill over there. There he goes, with my arrows in his hind end. It's a way to farm them, huh? Yeah, I kind of figured so much. I bet it would be pretty easy to get a bunch of animals just laying around and you just pick them all off, you know? This is definitely a good little valley, though, for the uh, the deer and stuff. I'm kind of hoping I get that to that deer that I just shot. I can hear myself walking through the brush. It feels like there's something else here. I think it's right there. I don't know if I can actually shoot this far, though. Well, I can. Apparently that is a thing. Is this the animal I shot? I don't think it is. Not the first time anyways. Oh, bones.
I like the wolves. They're pretty easy to take out. And I think the XP off of them is pretty decent, right? Better than the deer probably is. Does this blue stone respawn? It seems like it might. Ugh, right to the back of the neck. Uh, okay, there's a level. Alright, level 11. We got four to go. You know what I should do. I should build a separate little shack that's got my bed in it and a campfire nearby it. Oh, dog. I got nothing to fight it with either. Except for these here. Except for this bow. <laughs> you stupid dog. What are you doing? Should have done that. Gotcha. He wasn't expecting him to turn around like that and shoot him in the face. Boom. Give me my bones over here, too. Okay, so the, uh, it's, it prom the game promotes, uh, looks like, to put up small little shanties here and there so you can go explore and then you've got a place to kind of hunker down and shelter in. I have seen... Okay, that, that reminds me of kind of Ark or Conan, really. Just those little outposts that you'd have set up. That's cool. I like that. I like that. So far, yeah, like I said, I, th I think it's been a fun game. I've been enjoying it. And I think if I'm not running all the time, um, the game... I hate to say it, but the game operates much better, you know, because I'm not charging through everything. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm sure you're seeing the lag on my screen as well. Oh, no, there's a pig. That's like a boar over there. Big old, big old boar. Ooh! Oh, did I kill it? Oh, okay, that was weird. <laughs> oh, what is that thing? Moa. A Moa. Hmm. What's well, an extinct large predatory bird native to New Zealand? Okay. Brought back to life on Icarus through the terraforming process. Gotta go get my pig. Let's go get the swine. The delicious, the delicious meat of the swine. I'm sure there's probably one of these dang Komodos working his way over to it. The remains of one of nature's most feral... Oh, for Pete's sake. Repair. Alright. Oh, big raw bacon, white meat, bone... All that good stuff. Okay, and my arrow back. I appreciate that. Look at those tusks on that thing. The skeletons are quite impressive. Look like the real deal. Well, you know what I mean. I don't know that we've gotten a bunch of stuff done today, but I feel like... I, I guess I feel like I have. I'm going to go ahead and drop this. I'll take some of this stuff with me, I guess. I don't know. I'm sure the bacon's probably a really good food. I'm sure it all is. Food is not really, like I said, an issue. Game forces you to go out and hunt on a, all the time. But I don't know about these bone arrows now. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be making the bone arrows. I guess I get quite a bit of bone. Do I get as much bone I, as I use? Do I get it that much back when I'm harvesting these animals? I don't know. Does it pay off in the end? And what? There was an ostrich type creature there too. That was a crazy looking animal.
Don't move. Twenty-two. Twenty-two bones. I think that's probably pretty fair. Okay, so we walked over there last time. That animal, whatever this animal is up here, I, I don't know what it is, but it sounds really strange. There it is. There's that ostrich-looking thing again. Ooh, right up the nose. Literally into the mouth of that animal. Deer killer one. That's right. Deer killer one. That first time I played, I actually had one of those guys show up at my doorstep. One of those big tall buzzards there. Um, when I left a pig, a boar, outside my door. Had a bunch of animals show up. <laughs> I was like, oh. Probably shouldn't put my animals out here then. Uh, I think I'm going to kill him. I think he's worth some points. I don't know what he's like when he comes at me, but we'll have to see. I guess he could really mess me up, huh? There's a Komodo dragon right above him. Oh, got him. Okay. All right, that worked just fine. Got to make sure we don't lose him to the uh, dragon there. The bone arrows, yes, I would agree. The bone arrows do seem to be doing more damage, so maybe I will stick with them. Uh, it's been pretty nice to do the one-shot kills here. It also helps that I crouch before I shoot, too, to get that stealth bonus. It's a great way to get to know the world is just to roam around and do the hunting like this. You know, you get to see where a lot of stuff is, which is pretty cool. I'm going to eat that pumpkin. Um, oh. I guess I'm out of room. I'm going to keep that bacon, though. Got a wolf across the water here. Let him get out of the water before I shoot him a second time. There you go. Nice work, wolf. Way to bring it to me. Okay, I think I've got to go back and drop off a bunch of stuff. It's on the bar. Oh, it's on the bar. I always forget to look at the hot bar. Wait a pumpkin. This is like a cocoa bean, right? Yeah, cocoa bean. Useful ingredient, okay. Cocoa bean, useful ingredient. Grab some of this too, and I'll just take it home. I don't really use that um, oxygen thing that we made. I haven't even bothered with it. I gotta think there's another machine coming that's going to really reduce how much of this stuff we have to even look at. It's not been difficult, though, to get myself um, oxygen. Really? That's going to kill you straight out, huh? I thought that was going to miss for a second. Bread? I, I, I saw that. There is, um... Yeah, we picked up some. There's yeast. I saw some corn plants over there, too. I saw some corn. Uh, and I know I've seen wheat as well. There's like a wheat in the game. So there's several crops we'll be able to grow. Which is pretty awesome, I think. Okay, I heard a wolf. Where are we at? We're halfway to 12. I haven't seen any more of those purple flowers out and about.
you don't get jammed up on the ground. These cracks and stuff, they don't jam you up, which is really nice, too. I mean, he moves really well over stuff. Things snap together really nicely. I mean, the things I've struggled with, like these pieces, is because I don't have a wall and stuff here. That's not the game's fault, really. It's more, more or less my fault, I would say. So, so far, I'd say it's pretty good. Uh, right in here. This is where we drop our stuff because it's the easiest drop point in the whole dang house. This stuff doesn't spoil, right? So I could just throw that in there. Uh, we got raw meat over here. Now the bacon. Can I put the bacon on here? Oh, I can. Okay, sweet. Bacon's on there. You can see the meat's just rotting away on there as well. I could throw this stringy meat on here too, I guess. I suppose one of the things I should be looking at is the stats on here. 75 stamina, 15 melee, 25 food consumption. As opposed to what? 20 food when consumed. So this gives you a big benefit if you use this instead of the other stuff. Gives you a much bigger boost. 75 health. 20% health regeneration. 25 food consumption, melee attacks, max stamina. Okay, 30, 30 health when consumed, 150 food when consumed. Oh, a plain piece of dried meat. So it's showing me the difference there. Okay. It's got plain on top and dried stringy on the bottom. Dried stringy seems to be uh, a better dilio for sure. Okay, all right. I'll take that. Still getting our XP. There's daylight here, people. We don't want to waste the daylight. We're going to go shoot that deer in the buttocks. Oh, I missed by a mile on that one. Tag, you're it. No more. Di I, didn't, I haven't got the dysentery again today. I've been cleaning the dysentery almost all day. It only happened when I got on right away today. Oh, I heard a big roar there. Well, I bet bears are worth some pretty good points, huh? Where did I hear that roar? We know we saw a bear down there earlier today. At least one spawns in the area. Oh, maybe that was that cat over there. Maybe the cat was what made the noise. What's what's this big kitty over here? Oh, there's the bear up above. Jaguar. You think I'd take a lot of arrows to kill a bear? Oh, it sounds like he's coming. Maybe not. Uh, that's, that's a pretty easy kill there. Uh, arrows, how many I got left? Nine and four, huh? I hear that bear. We saw him up there, and now he has uh, kind of disappeared on me. What do we got over here? Double deer. That's a Kia. Repair that. What do I need for my bow? What? I can't tell what that is right here. Uh, repair craft. Oh, oh, I have to repair this at a crafting bench. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so the longbow has to be repaired at the crafting bench. 
very good. So you can't just go out forever with that thing. <laughs> just scaring him. There's humans here now. Now you've got to be scared. Has this got anything in it yet? It rained. Hmm. Nothing. Oh, what's this? Press to drink from reservoir. Oh, I took a drink. Okay. All right. Very good. I took a drink from there. There we go. Get some more dried meat going. Put some more meat away. Oh, look at this. What's this gamey meat? Oh, that's different. Gamey meat. We'll drop that in there too. It's just taking up extra space. Eat my berries. Eat my berries and my soy. Uh, can I put these guys on the dry rack? I bet I can. Uh, yeah, ribs will go on the barbecue. Okay, or the dry rack. Very cool. We got the bacon. Dried stringy meat, and then we've got these guys. 20 food when consumed, but then uh, I guess once it's changed, then it'll be worth something else. Okay, there's a countdown up here of what's happening. All right, so the meat is uh, doing its, its meat thing, <laughs> you know? What do you, what, what do you expect from meat? It's going to do what it can do. Uh, I'm going to wind up filling this ca this chest up with all kinds of stuff. Oh, what can I sort by? Let's go by name, sort. There we go. There's our bones. There's our leather. I should probably put a stack or two of wood in here, unless there's no more spaces for it. Let's see. If I do that... Uh, yeah, there are no more spaces. That is full. Okay. So, I can't store everything I want to in there. I'm going to be wind up... I'm going to be going with the bone arrows. The bone... The bone arrows are nice. I see a difference in using those right off the bat. Uh, what did we do today? We got the place built out a little bit. We've got some piles of stuff still here to get ready for the, the next thing. Uh, working towards level 15. Hopefully I'll be there by the next episode. And then we can start working on getting um, some stone foundations put down. And kind of really build a place for us to be in. Oh my god, look at this. This is awful. There you go. Yeah, I get kind of set up in a stone base so we can start doing, I don't know, I guess we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, right? <laughs> we're, we're building a base, we're hunting, we're, we checked out a cave today, we've made some new medic, medical stuff. I got to repair my thingamabob here at the bench. There it goes. A bow. Perfect. Just like that. Uh, we, we can sleep now with the campfire inside the rock out there. Uh, expanded a little bit. Yeah, it was uh, all around for two hours. I've had a good time uh, being in the world. I've got to say, it's been enjoyable to be in the world. One more. One more wolf. One more wolf before we call it. Let's see, this, this guy got to get me to level 12. He did not know that there was an arrow aimed right for his temple. Looked like it looked like it hurt for maybe a split second. Where's the wolf at? There it is. Check if I can learn the wood cupboard. Uh okay, let's see. Let's go back to the sanct the, the sanct sanctuary of our little log cabin here. To be honest, this log cabin wouldn't be that sturdy. It's like one foot diameter poles, you know. It's not gonna be Putting up against storms very well. Anyways, uh, that was a wolf, so hold on. Hold on. Bear with me here. Let's drop this. I don't have to run out or anything. What? No stringy meat? Well, holy crap. The bear is just across the way now. Okay. Yikes. Oh, is he after me? He is after me. 
Oh! in my house. Didn't cause any damage to that, but he did to the uh, other thing. That takes care of the bear. <laughs> okay. Well, we're looking for the cupboard, right? Oh my god. Okay, beautiful. Look at that. That's some nice meat off of him. There we go. Okay, um, blueprints. Okay, we do have. Okay, we've got tier two, the wooden cupboard. There it is, right there. Um, I feel like the wood cupboard is a good, a good, good choice. That's it's a good choice. Now, there is a cooking stone. The stone furnace has got to be a must so we can enter the Iron Age. Got to be a must. Um, did they nerf the bears? No, I'm just a very good bear hunter. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they did or not. Uh, medium wood hedgehog. Wood drop. Wood crop plot. Slow, messy, wasteful task. The right tools make all the difference. I'm going to hold off on that bench. I feel like I get quite a few resources, which I probably is not going to be the case down the road. There's a lightning rod. 10 copper ingot for a lightning rod. I don't even have copper. Leather curtain window. Food trough. Leather curtain door. Herbal bench. Textiles bench. Oh. I have no light on me. Home sweet home, right? Home sweet home. I have no wood or... I have no way of making a torch at the moment on my inventory. I've got a little bit of wood. Oh, yes I do. I can make a torch. Uh, no, I can't. I need 40 fiber and 8 sticks. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Really starts to pick up. That is incredible. That's quite the mechanic. Feels like we're nearing the end of it here. Ah, okay, so there's talk of what can we tame. I know the buffalo is an animal we can tame, and I know there's a cart we can put behind the buffalo so we can carry a whole bunch of stuff, which sounds to me like a pretty cool way to kind of roam around the map possibly and just you could hunt like all day long and just throw everything in the cart and drag it back or go out and do some serious mining, which of course we can't do yet because we apparently get pneumonia in those caves pretty quick. But um, we will have an animal that will be able to help us carry a bunch of stuff back. And I do love using animals for stuff like that. That's a lot of fun. And I think we can ride it even, right? Kind of like the locks in Valheim, you can ride it. Okay, let me see if I can find some more fiber. Sorry, guys. It's sticks too, right? I needed some sticks. Craft it. Oh. 
There we go. There we go. Sorry about that. I'm sure there's a better torch we can get eventually, too. Already got that one. That one's good. That one's got some damage. Here we are. We're going to make it through yet another storm. Another day of play on Icarus. I am going to play this some more. I like it. You guys are enjoying it and have shown support, so I'm going to go ahead and keep going with it. I'm very curious as to what happens here. It's such a, it's such a bizarre wor world. Again, I'm kind of... Um, it's like, wow, this place has got all these... The animals are unusual. The array of animals here is, seems unusual to me. But I'm curious about going to the other biomes and seeing what they're like and what's in them. I think it'd be exciting. Oop. It's pretty mucky out. Yeah, he didn't do any damage to the stair, just to the floor. That was kind of interesting. Alright, we're done? Let's see, let me get a drink of water. Look at that, boom. Drink of water. Does it show me how much is in here? Oh. Forty-one point two nine liters. Very cool. That's very handy. No more dysentery for us, unless of course we're out and about and have to drink dirty water because we've got no water with us. But that's going to wrap it up. I'm going to keep gathering resources and just work on getting us to. I know I've got some more stuff I can learn here. Let's let's do the one more thing. Um, we'll go to tier. Should I go back to tier one? Rustic Decoration Bench. Wood Gate Fortification. Seems like a good one to probably get a hold of. We could defend ourselves and block ourselves in. Food Trough, Leather Curtain Window, Lightning Rod. All this stuff has got something to do with, well, these things didn't do at least this one. A Food Trough, a basic trough to provide food for juvenile and tamed creatures. Except most fresh fruits and vegetables. That's exciting. I like the idea of having pets. Mortar and Pestle. Simple tool for crafting resins, paste, medicines, and more. You think the Tier 2 fireplace is good to get? This fireplace right here, huh? Okay. Okay. We'll do that. We'll do the fireplace. So now when we, next episode, we'll, we've got the wood cupboard now, we've got the stone furnace, we've got the fireplace. So I guess we do a smash and grab in the cave where the worms are and get iron a few times over. Uh, you know, the pneumonia is going to have an impact on us, but it's not that big a deal, really. It's just, it's a time thing. It doesn't seem to last too long. Um, and then we'll just uh, kind of go from there and, and keep working our way to 15. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day. And I look forward to talking again next time. Gotcha. Your XP. Running by the house. You should have never done it. Don't come by Radio's house. Uh-uh. It's not a good idea, little bunny. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to you guys next time.